On March 13, 2024, the smallholder oil palm growers in Milan Bay province gathered just outside of Alotal town to witness a check presentation under the National Oil Palm Intervention Program. Under the government intervention program, we decided to support you growers because we need to start with the plantings that we have on the ground, then we can enter into new areas. So with me today, I have a check for 216,000 to Million Bay Estates. To pay for seedlings. Seedlings and uh, so that you can do the uh, replant program in your block. So now I present to uh, Mr. Roland Taupa, the general manager of Million Bay Estates. Give them a big hand. Never at one time did we have any minister come and talk to the farmers. All we've been hearing is newspaper reports and radio reports. We never knew who ministers were. But we are so humble this morning, Mr. Manake, for setting your foot into Mill Bay to really interact with our farmers this morning. So now I, I'd like to say thank you to the government for now adding direct fund to the oil farm as an industry. As we all know, the, the uh, extension and service sector, the OPEC Act that we have, doesn't say anything from uh, like budget or to fund and all that. We all, all the time argue for funding of infrastructures, funding of fertilizers, or funding other very important programs for our, our blocks and so as our pro projects. But the poor OPIC, they got no money because there is no fund for them. And again, for the last 40, 60 years, they've been supporting this industry and never been supported by our government or Papua New Guinea in terms of budget. And it is very sad for us. And today, why I am here, because for the first time, I must tell you that I'm bringing funds from the government, from the government budget, into welfare and now giving to you growers. This price intervention program by the national government and through the oil palm ministry will now significantly assist the smallholder oil palm growers to purchase their seedling at a reasonable price. For such intervention from the government, it's a big thing and we can help as, as a organization, as a company, we can help um, the growers to improve uh, uh, a lot of our blocks, smallholder blocks um, are over aged and so the yields are not very good from there. So we need these seedlings to replace these older palms. Um, and so it's, it's, it's a good thing and we are so excited about this, uh, this intervention because as this is the first time in this industry that the, this government, uh, Rosso Marate government, uh, is putting money into oil pump. And we uh, hope that this intervention program will continue every year. So every seedling that we raise in the, in the nursery uh, is basically how we calculate the seedling cost is the input of money involved in raising and managing these seedlings. So at the moment, our current uh, price is around 22, 23 kina per seedling. Um, I was, uh, I haven't seen the, um, the, from the 216,000, the OPIC, OPIC was telling, uh, the general secretary was telling me that they want to do a, um, a subsidy of about 16 kina, uh, 16 or 18 kina per seedling. Now, if you look at that in percentage over the 22 kina, that is significant. So that is a good thing for us and we are all happy about that. When speaking to Tiraka Silica, an oil palm block owner, he says he has more land to expand his oil palm block, but the cost of a seedling is the only burden. Now with the seedling subsidy, Mr. Silica is looking forward to expand his four hectares oil palm block to six hectares. Now we are supporting about the government to give us the 
the money to reprint the, the blocks. So I did the reprinting. And I need to, to plant another six, six hectares again. So I make it about 12 hectares. I need it. But we are waiting for the government to, you know, give us support to repent again or new, we do the new planting. That's what we need, the people in Kamadodo. Apart from the National Oil Palm Intervention Program, the oil palm block owners are encouraged to put extra effort into managing their blocks for maximum benefit. The General Secretary of the Oil Palm Industry Corporation Capsin Pupita strongly encourages the oil palm growers to treat their oil palm blocks like a normal 8 to 5 job. Increasing yield cost, stabbing general block. And by you buy that enough money long. Buy fertilizer. Give me no one camera. Come on, carry money come. You've got a lot of No one see it. Because you've got a lot of come and support. Now come and support. Then come and support. Yeah, me challenging you now. And same talk talk, me talk long. Bialana, me talk long. Austin. You block her now, we block her money gum, we block her policy gum, we block her all intervention programs gum, we block by car all look all workmen, all gum stuff Last year we, we recruited 25 new extension officers to reduce the ratio of number of farmers to one extension officer. So all these things are happening. So we ask you to be full time in the block because this crop we have it every 10 days. It's not like coffee or cacao or coconut. You go to live several house because, ah, and by taking time, look at him, take a look at You see, grab him as a farm, and tomorrow you turn by giving him crop. Through another, or someone. So continue to see grab him block every day. Grab like 8 o'clock, time you go walk, you want to follow block, 8 o'clock, finish long, 4 o'clock, huh? You let's go walk, just go round thousand or look, look. It will make you to work in the block. When your eyes see that there's a need for you to touch the front, for you to clean the hospital pump, for you to remove some debris around the pump block, you just go there.